We've checked out a couple of tactics from this guy before. Let's check out another one. So this one is called the Sebastian 4231 Vol if Wind. Vol for Volante, IF for in, uh, inside forward, and the Wind. I don't know. Wingbacks? I don't know. But I believe it is from Sebastian 3. I don't fully know because I don't. I can't seem to find it anymore. Um, Sebastian 3 has a bunch of tactics that we have tried before uh, and a few more that we'll try in a little bit. But I want to say, because it says Sebastian, that is who it is from. But again... I can't find it on the Steam Workshop, which is where I get all my tactics from nowadays. Uh, so I don't know actually where this came from. But as you can see, it is a fairly standard 4231, a sweeper keeper in back, two wing backs on the side in support, ball playing defenders in defend, uh, two Solgindo Volantes in support, inside forwards on attack, a shadow striker in attack, and an advanced forward in attack up front. Positive mentality, Sebastian 4231 style. In possession, attacking width is fairly wide. Approach plays pass in space, overlap in the left and right, play out of defense, passing directness is shorter, tempo is higher. Uh, final third is low crosses and work the ball in the box, run at defense. In transition, we have counter press, counter, distribute quickly and roll it out. And then out of possession, high press line of engagement, higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent short goalkeeper distributions, and uh, no options and instructions. So if you want to try this, we'll see what happens with our three Premier League teams in just a second. But if you want to try this, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to have a link in the description below, but you can just pause where you want to see it, uh, ask me any questions. And yeah, I have not gone through the tactic like in depth. So if you ask me how certain players are going to react to certain things, I have no idea. But um, in this sim, I can show you what happened to these three teams. And I can just show you these screens that show you the instructions for all these players. Um, so yeah, take a look, pause, create it how you want to. Uh, and let us know if you recreate it and how it works. But for these three teams, it did really well. Really well. Newcastle coming in first champions of the league that is since doing these three teams that is the first time this has ever happened uh tottenham in fifth new uh, wolves in sixth the wolves is a fantastic result with 62 points i mean it probably could have gotten a little more tottenham was 70 on the higher side of average but that newcastle 84 points is absolutely astonishing as you can see, as they always do, Newcastle losing out to Liverpool the very first match of the season. Only nil one this time, though. But look at this. Crystal Palace 3-0. Everton 5-0. Everton in the set in the EFL Cup 3-0. I mean, you have three goals against you in the entirety of the first month. That is pretty fantastic right there. Um, I mean, loads of green 7-0 over Bournemouth. Man City a nil is a 1-3 loss. Okay, that one hurts a little bit. But still, keep going through everything. Uh, you lose out in the FA Cup fourth round to Tottenham of all teams. EFL Cup final, you lose 2-4 to four against Liverpool. But look at the sea of green that you just have everywhere. You are pocked by an individual loss here and there. You've got two losses here against Brentford and Manchester United. But overall, an absolutely fantastic set of runs. Tottenham, as you can see, they do still have a good August to start out with, but then an awful September, and then you're just spotty throughout. You don't continue on in the Champions League. You are knocked down to the Europa round of 16. Um, Stad Rene, you easily go through. Then Union Berlin, you easily go through. And then coming up against Roma, you do continue on 3 0 away from home, 1 3 at home. Uh, you do come up against Arsenal, you win out in the semifinals, and then you lose to Manchester United in the Europa League final. Uh, you do get to a final, so that is a big step right there. Lose out in the FA Cup quarters to Liverpool, and then EFL Cup, where do you end up? Uh, EFL Cup is right there, 1-3 loss against Arsenal. Wolves, not too much of a difference between Tottenham. Uh, and as you can see, they have some nice runs. A nice run from Arsenal all the way down to Tottenham. Uh, they, you know, it is kind of spottier, obviously. One all loss against Nottingham Forest in penalties in the EFL Cup second round. Uh, you continue on FA Cup, FA Cup. You continue on in the FA Cup all the way down to the FA Cup final. And you win against Liverpool. So we have Newcastle winning the league. We have Tottenham getting into Europa League final. And you have Wolves actually beating Liverpool in the FA Cup final. 
That is an insane set of, of cups right there. The only thing you're missing is the Champions League, but Europa League final is still pretty damn good. Transfers for Newcastle. You can see uh, Facundo Gonzalez from Valencia Mestalla is the new one in the group. I'm not, I want to say we've seen him before though, but 4.1 million, uh, 1.3 out for Mark Gillespie to Chris, uh, Crystal Palace, and that is about it. Tottenham's incoming, Stefan de Rai from Inter, Marco Lavaggia from Hodrick Split, 9.5. Oh, Stefan de Rai is a 3.9 total fee loan. That was all expensive loan. Uh, but a couple of outs, not too expensive. Wolves picking up Costinha and Rafael Rodriguez from Benfica, 600k. Uh, Costinha from Rio Ave, 3.8. We've seen him before. And then out, you have Dexter Lembekisa. We've seen all the time, pretty much. Data Hub-wise, all three teams shaky in defense, some extremely... Uh, but attacking wise is very nice numbers. You can see all three teams, obviously Newcastle just doing incredibly well attacking wise. Almost every single number minus pass percentage is through the roof. Uh, team defending has not, it's, it's okay. Um, definitely a little bit shaky. Tottenham a little shakier and then uh, Wolves pretty much the same, but attacking is definitely where it's at. And let's see if that translates into the Premier League stats. You can see Newcastle, 111 goals. Tottenham and Wolves up there as well with 79 and 72. Definitely starting out an exact way we thought it would be with attacking side just through the roof. A few shots against Newcastle and Tottenham, which is nice. Most possession Tottenham's in there. Newcastle and Wolves for most dribbles made. Fewest conceded Newcastle and Tottenham, 45 and 47. Liverpool with 28. Now that's a defensive effort. Most shutouts Tottenham with 14. Uh, most tackles won Newcastle, so they're in the defensive side as well. But pass completion rate, nobody. Most shots for Newcastle Wolves and Tottenham. Newcastle with 735. Uh, and then most points per game, as you'd expect. Player overview. Isaac, Kane, Jimenez, and Thuram all in there. 41 goals for Isaac. I mean, talk about an absolute beast with this tactic. Most assists, Trippier, Almiron, and Sarabia. Uh, two Newcastle boys, 20 and 14 apiece. Wow. Most player of the match awards, Isaac with eight, only eight. Donny Van de Beek with Tottenham and seven. Uh, Jimenez with five. Best pass completion, there's a lot in there. Most dribbles made, only Semedo though. Fewest conceded, Bentley and Saw. Shutouts, Lloris and Pope. So it's kind of funny how they're just all changed. Uh, but most tackles won nobody in there. Trippier and Sarabia, most key passes uh, by a lot. 178 key passes. Kieran Trippier looks to be the absolute catalyst for this Newcastle club, if that's the case. Um, 32 years old, too. But wow. Sarabia coming in second with 127. Darmsgaard for 99 for Brentford in third. Most shots, Isaac with 118. 169 for Holland, though. That's just crazy. And finishing off, as we always do, Newcastle stats in all competitions. 45 goals for Alexander Isaac. 767 highest uh, average rating, 24 assists for Trippier. That's crazy. Isaac with 10 player of the match awards all. I'm an absolutely insane season by Newcastle. Harry Kane, 41 goals. Definitely, definitely not too far off from Isaac. Uh, he does have a lot more games, but still. 712 of her highest average rating, though. That's not the greatest. Uh, most assists, Bettencourt for, with 10, and then da Donny Van de Beek with seven player of the match awards. And then Wolves, a whopping 23 goals for Raul Jimenez. Definitely a long distance from Kane and Isaac. But Sarabi was 7-2-9 average rating, 13 assists, and Cooney was sixth player in the match awards. I have to say, overall, this tactic did a fantastic job. And I'm very angry that I can't find the actual tactic of where I downloaded it from. But again, try it out. Uh, see how you do with your own teams. And you just have to recreate the tactic itself. Uh, but I mean... Newcastle, tops of the league with 84. Definitely, I mean, on the lower side of the top of the leagues, we've seen Liverpool and Man City in the 90s. But still, you got two Manchester teams, a Liverpool team just sitting below you. And then that's kind of a sandwich with Tottenham and Wolves in fifth and sixth. So fantastic job by everyone. Uh, I really have to look at this tactic a little more. It looks fantastic. So anyway, that is it for me. Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. Mm -hmm.